construction was supposed to start on February 14th, and then the blizzard happened, leaving people digging out. Now that the weather is more cooperative, these crews are digging in for new water lines and a new roadway to go in on top. Snow did a lot of damage to the streets. Michelle West frequents the area under construction. It includes selected streets between 15th and 20th and South Utica Avenue and South Zunis Avenue. Well, I know they said don't park in the street and sometimes you can't park in the driveway because they'll block you. So it's, it's, a, it's an inconvenience, but I understand they have to do what they have to do. One of several reasons the city is holding an informative meeting Tuesday night. If they have any questions, uh, answer those. Uh, meet with the contractor so they know who that person is they're going to see out on the street. The $2.1 million project is slated to wrap up in October of this year. And we'll be in and out as quick as we can and we'll have a new street and we're out of there. For now, most neighbors are being patient. You know, I've done some work in construction in the past, so, you know, it's kind of now I'm the guy who has to deal with living with it. And welcoming the upgrade. Like Dean Moore, who's stepping up the upgrades on his own home nearby. It is all, all in the nature of the business. From rough roads to smoother surfaces, projects mean progress to most. It's an inconvenience for now, but in the long run, it will definitely be worth it because we need to take advantage of those dollars and fix our streets now. It's worth a little inconvenience for years of better streets.